you must deal with Fulani leaders. They have suggestions that can help to deal with bandits. Oh, really? And uh, all this why? Why have they not suggested with the state of the nation and everything going on in Nigeria? Why are they still keeping silent? Anybody who wants Nigeria to move forward, you know, go shut up. You go talk, you go bring your suggestions. Now, so life be. If you day inside, if you day meeting, you understand, you get waiting, you get for mind. Say, now this thing we go do, you go suggest. When they say, you go make the meeting prosper, you go talk. You don't need anybody to push you and all that. Anyway, make we just hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, I beg, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening in Nigeria today. In a candid interview on TVC TV, the former Commissioner for Information in Zamfara State, Ibrahim Do Sara emphasized the importance of a comprehensive approach to address the banditry issues, suggesting a thorough uh, evaluation of all aspects to identify areas where negotiations could potentially take place, while acknowledging that certain areas may be non-negotiable may be non-negotiable. He advocated for fostering cooperation among security personnel, community leaders, and Fulani leaders to gather valuable intelligence and advice on combating the banditry issues effectively. He argued that maintaining dialogue with various stakeholders is essential in formulating strategies that address both the root causes and the immediate threat posed by bandits. He said, I am not advocating for negotiating with bandits, but I am suggesting, let us sit down and look at the whole issues historically, look at the areas we can negotiate on and look at the areas we cannot accommodate. Let's deal with the areas we can accommodate and forge on, and areas we can't accommodate, we ignore it, and let's fight the bandits head on. You have to cooperate with the security, you, you to get the necessary intelligence, you have to cooperate with community leaders for you to get necessary intelligence and suggestions that can help in dealing with the situation. You must deal with Fulani leaders. They have good suggestions that can help to deal with bandits. Don't also forget that Fulani leaders have been advocating for uh, negotiation. And uh, yes, Nigerian government should negotiate with bandits, give them amnesty, just like what happened in Niger Delta. Okay? comparing the Niger Delta militants with the bandits in, North, in northern Nigeria. They say make Nigerian governments give them amnesty. You understand? See, there is something we have to understand. This issue of banditry in Nigeria, these boys, these boys, they don't see plenty money you get. This one, uh, one worker like this, they don't they get millions of naira. You understand? The last one we even hear say they kidnap for Kaduna, he reached billion, that kind of thing. So tomorrow now, you go come see me then gather, and we want to negotiate with you people, uh, drop your gun, not fight again, and we go to give you uh, 100,000 naira every month of this and that, and you think they are going to listen to you. Even in the Quran, even in the Bible, even the traditionalists, they get rules and regulation. If you misbehave, if you misstep, there are consequences that follows. Anybody, when they buy people anyhow, you will be buy as well. You understand what I mean? Uh -huh. If you buy people, they will buy you. But why is it that these bandits on their own day different? What exactly are they fighting for? Everybody, these northerners are coming up to talk, tell us negotiation, this and this and that. Until they tell us what they are fighting for. Because this is getting out of hand. 
And these are one of the reasons why some Saturners will say this fight of banditry not go end until everybody waka go their own. Yes, then you when you don't remove sand from rice, everybody go understand waiting day. You get if you say you won't they continue to require your people, no wahala. You get this is not something you will say you are going to negotiate with these people. No matter no amount of negotiation, we make all these people to drop their weapons. They are making good money from it. If you say make them drop their weapons when they are collecting millions of nairas from the government and from individuals, how much is the government going to be paying them? The negotiation they are talking about, the amnesty they are talking about, Nigerian government will be paying them for doing what? And what are their reasons for fighting? You go just wake up, sleep. You go invade one community. You go scatter the whole places. Buy everybody. Destroy their means of livelihood. What are you fighting for? Last time, Gumi said because uh, the, the Nigerian government did not uh, uh, send them to school. They did not find themselves in some parasitas, this, this and that. In the government, they are in the bush. Make me ask me a question. Now, wait, now waiting consign Nigerians. Now, waiting consign Nigerians. If you get issue with the federal government, you feel that you have issue with, go and meet them and settle with them. Why do they go after innocent Nigerians? When see they look for way, when they take the hustle for themselves. You get who Nigerian government don't help for this country. This is so sad. The way Northerners are really, you know, treating this issue of banditry in their region is so sad. You get the other day, the CDS, uh, General Christopher Musa, said something. He said in the northern Nigeria, they are making the fight against this insecurity so tiring. That is why they keep on ambushing Nigerian soldiers. Now then go give them distress call. Now then go see they come like this. Now then go see call the band and say, see where they do. They go ambush the soldiers. What did they do now? It's not that the community leaders, everybody in the community, they know these people. Because then they enter the community the day when we say they won, you know, they themselves, they go come, they go drink. They, they carry women, they get women, you get people when they supply them foodstuffs and everything. They know all these things. They know where then they stay. If they really want the help to help themselves, they can as well do one. Not be somebody give a, a, a batch of apple and everything. All these things can be arranged. If you want to help yourself, you understand? The issue of help me to pray in all day, you have to pray yourself out from this condition. Anyway, guys, when I don't hear waiting in talk, uh -huh, I don't see the matter. I beg, drop your comment below the comment section or share this video, let it go viral. Make Nigerians see, still they understand waiting they happen for this country. Thank you for stopping by.